Hi everybody, how you doing? Hope you're all well. Um, today I thought we would make another one of those. In fact, just bear with, I'll grab it. I thought we'd make another one of these, but in different colours. Um, I got some really lovely, lovely comments back. Thanks guys. Um, and it's such a simple, simple thing to do. But it looks really nice. Oh, I've got placed up there. Um, it just looks really nice, doesn't it? So I thought we'd try it, um, but a different way, just to give you some different ideas in case you're a bit, you know, I've got that calf, but I haven't got this kind of a thing. So today I'm going to use some black. This is just, um, oh, I think this might be female, female black. And I've got some Cernit Silver. Um, and I'm going to use some Fimo uh, liquid. Um, and this is in silver. Now I haven't really tried this yet. So I thought what we'd do is, where we've got black and black here, I thought what we'd do is we would put the silver on. So I'm going to have silver up here. Uh, and black down here, but I'll use the silver femo over the black for a different effect. Uh, I don't know if this is going to turn out, guys, because I haven't done a test bit first. I'm just winging it, so uh, if it doesn't work, <laughs> we're stuffed. Um, but anyway, that's what I thought we would do. Uh, so yeah, I've got some silver, I've got some black, um, I've got my femo, I've just put my oven on. Um, and you're just going to need um, a cutter, uh, whatever shape you fancy doing. I'm not too sure. I've got a few cutters out. I don't know which shape I want to do, to be honest. Um, hmm. Anyway, I'm just going to give this a bit of a burnish. Uh, and it's been sat on my desk a bit, so I will recondition it again. Um, so I'll go and dig a cutter out and I'll be back in a sec. Okay guys, I'm ready. Uh, I'm just going to use this little square one. It's not the best cutter in the world, but I do like the shape. Um, so we're going to do it with this. Uh, it's just like a rounded square. And obviously I've got some black and I've got my silver. Uh, I've burnished them. I'm just going to make sure that that, in fact, I'm using the other cutter. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that these lines are perfectly straight because sometimes they get a bit squished when you burnish. I'll do the same with the silver. Peel that away. Um, I'll just trim this down a little bit. There we go. Um, and I'm just going to pick the silver up, put it next to my black. Try and not get any fingerprints on it. Not fingerprints. Uh, keep putting my nails. I need to trim my nails, I think. Um, I keep putting nail marks in. And I do try and keep my nails quite short. Um, so, I need to trim my nails. Anyway, there we go. Give this a nice burnish just to get them sides to join. I tried filming this video yesterday, guys, honestly. I should do a blooper reel, shouldn't I? Um, I just I couldn't get it to work. Uh, kept sticking in my um, doodah um, and then I don't know what on earth I did but I obviously didn't cook it for long enough so when I tried to buff it it all squished oh I just gave up in the end it's just one of those days where the planets weren't aligning for me um, so yeah we're going again today there we go, that should be nice and joined now. Ta-da! Uh, and I'm, 
I might do it a bit, let me make sure I've got this cut the right way up. I might do it a bit of a jaunty angle. Mm. No, I won't. I'm going to do it straight. And I'm going to do more black than I am silver because I'm going to drizzle the silver liquid clay over the black. So let's just pop that down. Oh, I need to adjust it a little bit. Now, I'm not pushing it all the way through. I'm just pushing it in so it sticks. And I'll just trim off um, some of this excess. And it's not flapping around. Which is easier said than done. There we go. And now I'm just going to pick this up. And with this being a smaller one, it's a bit more fiddly to hold, so I hope you can see. I'm just going to gently get it going. And I'm going to use my Magic Mix again. Um, just a little drop. So it just stops my fingers sticking to it. Um, obviously helps to bond the um, backing piece as well. Um, I'm just gently, gently, gently pushing that clay down into that. Shape like so. I've got some here I prepped for my backing just clean my finger off. Uh, in fact, I'm going to see if I can push this a bit further. Get a really good dome on it. There, that should do it. And I'm just going to turn this over. In fact, I'm going to pick this up. And pop it down onto my back in and give it a push. Now, like I said before, that this isn't the best cutter in the world, but I do like the shape. So I'm just pushing down, making sure it's cut through. Take this excess away. So, and I'm just going to lift, lift this off as gently as I can and just give it a little rub on my top. It just helps to get rid of those pesky crumbs if there is any. There we go. Nice and bonny. Now I am going to just pick it up and make sure there isn't too many crumbs. I think that'll be fine. Right, I'm going to pop this into the oven now for uh, half an hour. Um, so I know it's nice and firm so that we can come back and we can buff it. Okay, guys, see you in a minute. Hi, guys, out the oven. Nice and bonny. <laughs> I can't stop laughing every time I say nice and bonny now because people keep saying how they like how I say nice and bonny. <laughs> Um, I've just got a couple of rough edges, so I am going to give it a little zoom with my Dremel uh, and I'm just going to buff, I'm not buffing the black, I'm just going to buff uh, the silver up uh, and tidy the sides up. So I'll come back when I've done that bit guys, see you in a minute. Hi guys, I'm back, nicely buffed the silver. Um, I've barely um, touched the black. I want that nice satin finish. Uh, so let's go. I'm turning it this way around because I'm right handed. I find it easier this way. And I've got my silver Fimo. 
and I'm just going to dot some off then I know there's no bubbles. In fact I'm just going to wipe the nozzle because it's got a bit of gunk on it. Okay guys, so starting off my piece I'm just going to squeeze and drizzle. Squeeze, drizzle, squeeze and drizzle. Um, I think I'll do another one this way. Squeeze and oh, went a bit wonky there, but it still works. Oh, went a bubble. Pop the bubble. Is that enough? Hmm, maybe one more. Squeeze and drizzle. There we go. I'm just going to let it sit a second so that if you remember the other day on this one I got a couple of blobs on the side. Oh where are you? There you are. Got a couple of blobs on the side. Now I didn't mind it on this because of the shape but I don't really want blobs on this so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to poke them with a pokey tool so that they drain off onto the paper so that they're not so thick on the edges. Quite happy for it to run that way but I don't want it to um, to gather. I'm just going to grab a clean piece of paper now I've done that. Uh, I'm just going to pick it up and just check that there's no big blobs around the edges. Um, I have smeared it a little bit on the bottom but I can catch that later. No more should run now. Uh, but you could let it just sit a little bit longer if you so wish. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pop this back in the oven now. Now this Fimo says, let me just double check for you guys. Um, German, French, come on English. it says 20 minutes um, which is actually a bit longer than I thought uh, but it should be fine uh, my temperature is pretty stable in my little oven so I'm just going to pop this back in now for I can see another drip pop this back in now for um, 20 minutes uh, and I'll come back when it's baked. Okay guys, see you in a minute. Hi guys, we're back, it's baked. Now, remember earlier when I said, not 100% sure about this, I haven't really used it, I'm still not sure about it guys. You see how the black, it, that's how I drizzled it, that's how it stayed. It did run a little bit, granted, but that's how it stayed. The silver's flattened out. There's still quite a bit of texture on there, but it's flattened out and it feels plasticky. It's weird. It doesn't feel like your clay. It, like that just feels like black clay. This feels plasticky. Can you see there's no sheen on it? I'm going to have to buff it. And uh, my husband just came in and I was showing him what I did. And he said, why have you buffed it before you've done it? Well, I did it because I want, uh, cooked it and buffed it. Because I want this surface not to absorb the liquid clay. And I know from previous experience that if I'd have done it on raw clay, it would have soaked it in and sometimes the colour leaches, which is why I part, well, B 
baked it first. So just remember that, guys. Um, bake it first and I just buff it because um, obviously with that one, I wanted to, um, I wouldn't be able to buff it afterwards, would I? Um, obviously this one wouldn't have really mattered. I can now uh, rebuff it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my super fine um, nail file and I'm just going to see if I can get this silver uh, to buff up a little bit. Um, and if I can't, then I'm afraid, Fimo, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Because I don't like the finish on it and I don't like... Um, plasticiness of it so I'll just give it a, a buff I don't want to over buff it um, so I'm just gonna do it with um, this really fine I think it's a thousand grit just to see if I can get that surface to come up a bit and it doesn't not like it's going to. Let's just buff that bit. Hmm. It's gone shiny, but it's not gone overly silvery. Um, right, give us a minute, guys. I'm just going to go... Um, I'll just give it a little buff with my Dremel and see if I can get the metallic to come through. Um, and then I'll, um, I'll come back and talk about it in a sec. Okay guys, yeah, it has sheened up a bit, but it still looks, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. Um, you can't get a polish on it. Like, can you see the sheen here on this? Um, I just can't get it to get a really gloss on it not that it matters um but if i was using it for something else and i wanted to buff it to a really high shine uh, then i'd be a bit disappointed i think um so mm, jury's still out i think on the female much prefer the sculpey much prefer the sculpey uh, I haven't got any of the brands. Um, Sculpt is the one I normally use. Um, but yeah, the Fimo. I'm not sure. Maybe try it, guys. See if you like it. Um, you know, the whole point is that I don't want to put any surface coatings on. But I would really like that to be super shiny like um, this. But hey ho, it still looks nice. It's unusual. You get, um, apart from the fact it's gone a bit flatter than I thought it would. So maybe next time I do a finer line. Um, I still think the effect is cool. Uh, it's a bit different, isn't it? We compare it to this one, which is now covered in fingerprints and gunk. Let me just buff this copper back up a little bit in the background I've had my sticky fingers all over it um, yeah a nice effect um, and I do like this with it on the black and of course now my black's got a bit shinier because I buffed it but anyway um, let's drill some holes in it and put a backing on it let me just got a bit of dust uh, yeah, I think I'm going to hang it that way and I'm just using, you know, the wire I had the other day, one of these ones, and I snipped the end off to fit it through. Um, I've still not put the other end on because I just thought I'd use it with this one rather than cutting another one. Um, so I'm going to, I think, drill across. Do you want it that way or that way? Hmm. I think I'll, yeah, I think that way. I'm going to go across this way. Uh, so just using my uh, worktop, let me turn it round. If I weigh it up between there and there, 
I could put a hole there and a hole about there. Right, let's drill these. Try to go in at an angle, then I know my cord will go that way. Uh, that's that one done. And that one, and I am going to take it bigger with this one. Um, just so I know that that um, card will pass through nicely. There we go. Let's see if we can get this card through. Nope, doesn't want to go that way. Let's try this way. I could be here some time, guys. Oh, the other one went through so easily, didn't it? Do you remember? Is it going? Nope. It's not having it. I'll try and thread it. Hang on, guys. There we go. Only took 20 goes and I did it. Um, let me just do this. Go away. Screw. There we go. Let's get a bit of white paper so you can see on this black. And there it is. It's kind of cool. Bit of a bigger one this time. Um, and just doing the opposite. That will go that way, obviously. Um, another way of doing it, guys. Um, again, you can use whatever colours you want. Uh, I may do another one um, using some clear or transparent uh, or white, and I'll tint it. Um, and we can maybe do something with that as well. Uh, of course, you don't even have to. You could just use one colour of clay and do some drizzling over it, couldn't you? That'd be quite cool. Um, but yeah, there you go, guys. Another really simple but effective design. Uh, you could knock these out all day, couldn't you? Um, just remember when you're trying to thread it, you know, you might have more success than me. That took a while. Uh, right, guys, I'll let you go. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, and thank you all so much for all your lovely comments. Really lifted me this week. I've been feeling a bit bare. And then I've had so many lovely comments, um, not just on YouTube, on um, uh, different posts all over social media. So it's been really nice. Um, keep on coming. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.